back to another episode of Introducing. Today we are going to take a look at Lucky. Before we get started, we are going to continue with my favourite tradition. We are going to be pairing Lucky with one of my favourite whiskies. This is Lagavulin, 16 year old. An absolute masterpiece of a whisky. Um, it's an Isla whisky um, distilled in Port Ellen. Just warm, fiery, medicinal. Um, a very complex whiskey, really, really beautiful. And I have fond, fond memories of drinking Lagavulin in the dry room at Irvin Samoji's shop after hours with uh, my colleague Julian Gaffney, fine luthier, a uh, wonderful friend. So um, with that in mind, uh, cheers, Julian, and everybody watching. All right, so lucky Model M. Let's start with this Redwood soundboard lucky strike redwood so lucky strike refers is it's is the name given to um this piece of wood by the the guy who felled the original tree a gentleman um, named craig carter he was a big uh, lover of redwoods he would name many of his the his special logs that he found lucky strike is his most famous and it's it's easy to see why it's some of the most beautiful um redwood I think I've ever seen. I remember when I took delivery of this wood originally and opened up the package, I was just absolutely blown away. And then even more so when I got this guitar back from finish, the cross grain silking, the medullary rays just absolutely burst off the soundboard. The grain is really tight, straight, and even. It's got this absolutely gorgeous orangey peach coloration to it. It's even. It's just absolutely everything that you would want um, from a soundboard. It, to me, when people ask me what does it sound like, it's kind of that perfect hybrid between the, the warmth and the balance and the bassy response of Redwood with the articulation and clarity of Spruce. To me, it's just like, it's a luthier's dream. Right from the moment you pick it up as raw timber, it's just a live, it's just fizzing with excitement um, and yeah, all the way through building this guitar, I just couldn't wait to, to string it up and, and, to, and to hear it come to life because it's just, just fantastic. Even speaking now, just, just talking across the soundboard, it's just radiating, it's vibrating. I can hear the strings moving, the air is moving, the back is vibrating. It's, it's just doing everything that you would want um, a great guitar to do. Um, as you can tell, I absolutely love Lucky Strike Redwood. <laughs> so we have the Redwood face. Um, we have the African Blackwood for the back and sides, Dalberger, Melanoxalon. This is a really gorgeous set with some really great color. The name implies that it's jet black. It's not, it's more like a, a deep, dark, velvety chocolate color. Um, there's hints of kind of like a deep purple, um, it's it's just really magnificent. There's some kind of dark, dark browns in there. The grain is stunning um, and it sounds absolutely fantastic as well. Much denser than um, a lot of uh, other rosewoods, but it's got a sound um, very similar to Brazilian rosewood, which is, uh, can't say, can't say fairer than that. So we have um, African ebony for the fingerboard and the bridge. We've got a uh, rock light binding. We've also got uh, a little mini bevel, which as you know, I absolutely love and recommend them to everybody, especially if you are 
kind of sitting like me right now where the arm is resting heavily on the on the lower bout it's just so so comfortable we've got some really beautiful um, Italian bird's eye maple which has been pressure dyed for the head stock and for the the rear head cap there as well and we have got some of the Will McNichol signature um, herringbone etched copper for the rosette headstock inlay and on the back as well and Will is a, is a good friend of my clients and uh, we, we gave him a hall pass and allowed him to have the the Will McNichol signature rosette which is normally reserved for the um, the Will McNichol signature model but we made an exception in this case and the coloration of the copper just works absolutely amazingly well with the redwood really really beautiful So this guitar is also a, a first um, in that it has my very first sound port. I don't know if you can get that on there. This is a, a very small detail that uh, my client was quite insistent on. Um, he's a big fan of sound ports. Um, one of his favorite uh, guitars has a, a sound port, a similar dime to, to this, um, and he absolutely swears by them. I'd never worked with sound ports before, I'd certainly never considered one, um, but uh, we, we gave it a shot, um, and I, I think it sounds great. I can, it's, it's sending some of that signal straight up to me. Um, it looks great, we've got this, it's copper, copper lined, um, and you get a nice little window into what's going on inside of the guitar, which uh, made me especially careful when I was building this guitar. So this is, uh, is going to be going and joining two other Tom Sands guitars. It's going to be joining the very first Model S and, um, and a Model L as well. So my client will have the S, the M and the L. And I think this guitar um, really sits nicely between the other two. And uh, I think it will be a really lovely complement to those guitars, each of them doing something very different in their own way and the appointments are a nod to those other guitars. And I think they'll make a very happy family, three siblings um, in, in together in their, their new home in San Diego, California. Unfortunately, this year I was supposed to be delivering this guitar in person, that hasn't happened due to COVID. Um, so I'm gonna be holding on to this guitar for a little while until I get the opportunity to go out next year. So it's gonna be nice to, to hold on to this one and. and be able to play it a little bit and, and see how it develops and opens up over time. Um, so that's going to be really, uh, I feel very fortunate that I get that opportunity. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at Lucky, this brand new Model M in Redwood and African Blackwood. Until next time. Mm -hmm.